Hey Dad, just want to show you my new hydrogen setup here. Um, this is pretty cool. I made a torch, a homemade torch handle. Um, it has like a .06 orifice at the very end that you can buy for a spot welder. I put all this together inside. I have some silica gel for extra moisture absorbent and a flashback protector, which you must have to make this thing work. And I'm going to be using my system right here to power it. And inside my little canister here, here's my little level to show you the level of the water and the potassium hydroxide mixed together in here. And right here in the center of it, I got a cutoff with little needle holes in it. Then I filled the rest of it up with fish, aquarium fish rocks which eliminates all the moisture from the actual bottom. This, this just makes steam and stuff. It makes a lot of moisture and steam. It comes up and right around there, it all just drips back right down into the canister and it's all just dry smoke coming up. So I never even thought of that before, but it works great. But I'm gonna show you how this works here. I got it hooked up to my balloon here and I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. I'm going to show you what I can do with this thing here. This is the amp draw we're pulling here. Of course the solution's a little cooled down now. But this will eventually climb up back to like 24 amps. I'm building it up right now. I got the gas off. And it's building up pressure inside the housing here. So this starts to climb up. Now watch the balloon here. All right, and this will eventually keep climbing here. And what I'm gonna do is demonstrate the power of this gas on my little torch here. I put the balloon on the very end of it here and it powers my torch. And I wanna show you how powerful it is. Just give this another minute. Get some good pressure going in here. We're at 20.7 amps. And once it starts to warm up the water, it really gets going good. See, my balloon is already pretty big here. It's enough to demonstrate what I want to do with it. Okay. All right, what I'm going to do now is cut this off. Cut the pressure, unplug this, okay, turned everything off, all right, I'm going to have to set this down for just a minute here, so I can unplug this here, and I'm going to plug it into my torch here, okay. Now, see, I got it plugged right into my torch. Goes into the connector here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to light it up and show you what what how this thing works. Alrighty. So I'm going to turn the gas on. It's coming out my little end here. I light it. And voila. There's your flame. That baby is hot. There's the pressure, it's coming through here. Now watch the metal plate here as we just burn right through it. Instant weld, burn a hole right through it. Is that amazing? I can just cut this thing right in half if I want to. Just burns right through it. Is that a beautiful flame? It's pretty strong too. And we still got pressure in the balloon. And just go on at it. This is some hot flame. Almost instantly just burns a hole right through it. Look at that. Amazing. Now watch this. The pressure. The pressure's going out here. Now watch this. This is my backflash protector. As soon as this runs out, it'll just make a little bitty pop. Here we 
go. Here it goes. Huh. Didn't even make a pop, just went zip. Well, that's it. Is that pretty cool? I was just using the balloon to test this out, but it's going to eventually be hooked up to this system with a lot more pressure back and behind it. So it'll, de it'll do even more going through steel and everything. So let me know what you think. This torch thing didn't cost much at all to make it, but it's a very good idea. And it works. Let me know what you think, Dad.